Hello! So if you've seen my Katsukan vlog, you know that Raven is already finished. I finished her four Katsukan, but I haven't been able to share them because I was so busy with the Katsukan crunch. So today I'm going to be showing the process for making the wig. So my first attempt failed. <laughs> I tried to do something a little bit more complicated in an effort to save money and not buy a new wig. However, after I got through all of the dyeing stages, when I was cutting it, I was having a really hard time styling and cutting it. Um, and then I ended up cutting it too short. So that wasn't great and it meant that I had to start over. I did eventually get a wig together that I ended up liking, but I thought I would still show you guys the process that I used for the first wig because even though it did fail, it's still like a useful process to know how to do. So I just wanted to preface this video before it actually gets started the Minji from multiple months ago did not know that she was going to have such an arduous process on her hands so let's go back in time. I also wanted to mention really quick at the end of the video I'm going to be showing off some backdrops that I received from a brand called Lo Ferris. This was a gifted collaboration for them so if you are interested in photo backdrops then please stick around to the end. Today we're going to be starting on my Raven project for Katsa Khan with the wig. So that's why I've got my little friend here. I thought about buying a wig for this because there are some really good Raven wigs just on the internet, but I have already spent a lot of money on the materials for like sewing the actual costume. So I thought that I would try to save a little money and use something that I already have. This is a Matilda from Arta Wigs. The plan is to cut this so it looks like Raven's hair and then dye it black, purple, and a little bit pink. My inspiration for this is from Gabriel Piccolo's Teen Titans comic, I think. It's like kind of casual AU of all of the Teen Titans characters. Sorry, baby that is like climbing around in the back. I really like Piccolo's design of Raven, so I thought that I would try to emulate that even though it's not exactly the same as what is in the design I'm making. So first I'm gonna straighten this and then I'm gonna cut it so it has the like blunt angled cut that Raven has. Are you being annoying? To pin my wig in, I'm just using normal pearl head pins. I don't like to use the ones without the pearl heads because they're too small, they get kind of lost. But I also don't like to use T-pins, which I know is what people typically use for wigs, but I find that they just get caught in the hair constantly, so I don't like doing it. Okay, I've got the wig all straightened, so I'm gonna plop that on my head so that I can cut it to the right length. Because this is gonna be so short, I wanna make sure that I have it on the right length for my head, not just the wig head. If this was a longer wig, I would just do it on the wig head because it, if I make a little mistake by an inch, if it's a long wig, it doesn't matter. Because it's gonna be like here-ish, one inch makes a big difference. So we're gonna just do it on my face. But first I gotta put my hair in wig cap. How I do that, I don't know if anyone cares to know this, but I have seen like new cosplayers not know how to keep wigs on their head and it's because they're just not doing all this stuff to like make a secure base, I guess. But what I do is I braid my hair into four parts and then I wrap it around my head and that gives a really good base to pin into. It's not super important when it's just a wig just sitting on your head, but when you start getting the like ponytail wigs and stuff, that kind of base is really important. I also try to like French braid it kind of so that it's sitting against my scalp because we want it to be as flat as possible. Then when I've got one strand braided, I just clip it off with a bobby pin for now and then I will actually secure it all once I've got all of the braids done. All right, now I've got all four of my strands braided. I'm gonna start with the ones at the base of my head rather than the ones coming from the front. I'm just gonna loop it around. Now that I've got this braid up at the top, so clip that in there. So you don't want any of your braids overlapping each other at the front of your head either because that'll cause like a bump and th then it'll look like there's a bump in your head. So I've got the clip going forward and then I grab the hair and I push it backwards and that locks it. Now I'm doing the ones that are by my ears. Okay, and then we'll just pin all the braids tight to our head. And also get my bangs out of the way. Cute. Normally these have a hole in it, so I just like put it all the way over my neck and do it, but we'll just do it this way. For cosplay, I prefer the mesh ones over the like stocking material ones because they're easier to pin into. So first off, I gotta get rid of a whole bunch of this length. Don't want any of the wig longer than here. I don't even think that I want the wig like this long at all, but I'm gonna chop all this off. It'll just make it a lot easier to deal with. That looks a lot better. It's still like far too long because she has much more of a blunt cut. So it goes about there. So I'm gonna work on that. It looks like her front layers kind of skim her collarbone. So I'm gonna chop those off to there. 
I'm just doing the first cuts for like length right now. I'm gonna even everything out and feather it when I have it like on a form in front of me. I think this is pretty good right now. Um, obviously it's not like very clean, but I'm gonna just like clean it up and cut everything else because this is very choppy right now. what the wig looks like right out of the bag. This is a Helen, I think in royal purple or something from Epic Cosplay Wigs. I think it'll work, but it's very flippy. Front of the hair there, it just like flips right up and that's just gonna sit like right under my chin, which is gonna look not great. So I'm just gonna straighten everything and hope that helps and then we'll go from there. <laughs> This whole thing is definitely too long, especially at the back where it kind of ends up looking like a mullet. So I'm going to trim some of this off. I put it on and clipped it where it hits the edge of my collar. So I'm just gonna cut it to there. So Raven's hair is mostly black with some purple. I'm gonna spray all the roots black and maybe go down to like about here so it's like, I don't know, kind of ombre purple. I don't want it to get too heavy with acrylic because then it'll just be kind of crusty. So we're gonna not do that. The airbrush that I use is the Iwata Smart Jet Air Compressor. For the airbrush itself, I use the Iwata Eclipse. For ink, I'm gonna be using the FW Della Rowney acrylic artist ink and I just dilute that like kind of one to one so that I can control it a little bit better. So I'm just going to start from the bottom and work my way up so that <laughs> if I make a mistake early on while I'm still getting the hang of it, it's not visible. I'm going to skip the first couple layers that are right next to my neck so that if it ink does run at all, it's not getting right on my skin. I've gotten everything done except for the skin top and when I'm on the skin top I want to be a lot more careful because I don't want to dye the skin part black obviously. I think like back here it's not a huge deal it's mostly anywhere that I might part it and mostly the center is the big place to avoid. So when I'm doing the skin top part I'm just gonna kind of try to like use my finger to cover any rubber that's exposed 
and just try to make sure that this stays really neat and clean. I'm also gonna start from the one side and then work my way over to the other side. Everything's all dry, but because it's acrylic ink, it's kind of chonky, so she looks a little greasy. So the last thing I'm gonna do before I can put her on is I'm gonna kind of like brush it out and try to separate all of the like chunks, I guess. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that with both my fingers and a comb. I also find that rather than just brushing down, brushing to the side really helps. Brushing kind of in a different direction than it wants to naturally fall will help break up the chunks. The back's looking a little frizzy, so I'm gonna run some oil through it. Use Motion's oil spray on my wigs to like keep them from tangling and everything, so I'm just gonna spray some on my hands run it through the ends. Thank you guys for watching this video. I might look familiar in my face paint because I'm filming this at the same time as my face paint video. I'm really happy with how this wig turned out. I don't love short hair on me. I like personally, it's just not my look. Can I drink tea? I, it's gonna smudge, that's okay. Yeah, uh, short hair, not really my vibe. I really like having my long hair and I think I kind of end up looking like a soccer mom with short hair a lot of the time, so. I don't know, let me know what you think, if it looks okay or not. The wig itself, aside from my soccer mom looking tendencies, I think turned out really well. I It didn't go quite as dark as I had planned on, but I think I'm actually happier with that because it kind of looks like it has purple highlights through it, so I think that's really interesting. And once again, this wig is from Epic Cosplay, not sponsored, I just purchased this wig myself, and it's their Helen hard front wig in royal purple i think so i'll link to that in the description so you can check that out i gave it a little cut and i sprayed it a little darker the original wig that i was trying to make was a matilda from arta wigs and it was uh it just didn't go well um so first off what happened with the lace when i dyed the whole wig purple the lace all turned dark so that was why i didn't go for a lace front with this one because i knew that if i was doing the roots it would catch on the lace with like how heavy I wanted it to be done. So I did a lot more spray on this than I did on that green wig from a little while ago. If that hadn't worked, I was gonna dip it because I was going for like a look. So I decided that I should get a hard front rather than lace front just in case I needed to dip dye it again. Cutting did not go well because I cut it too short because I got frustrated. So that was kind of the end of that project. Yeah, it just took me a really long time to get to a point where it looked acceptable and like okay at all. And then once I got to that point, I accidentally cut it too short. So it just, it's just a bad time. This one turned out just fine. So I'm happy with that. I think it looks fairly, fairly similar. I don't know, it's a little long in the back maybe, but I was really scared of cutting it too short again because, because I cut the last one too short. So she is a little long in the back. Maybe eventually I'll cut it shorter, but not now. She's gonna stay the length she is. I think the front looks really good though, so that's all that really matters, right? All right, Um. well, I hope you got, do you wanna say hi? All right, I don't have a baby bat for you guys, but I have a honeybee. Hello. Does mom look really weird? Smell funny? This face paint smells, like it smells good, but it smells sweet and it doesn't smell like skin. So he's probably just confused. Can you say hello? Oh, good boy. You look very cream colored today. All right, well, see ya. That's pretty much it. I think that's all I've got. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, uh, I don't know, encouragement for the wig, then let me know. Uh, and if you wanna see the rest of this costume, now that we've got like 
the base corset and the face painting. I guess the face painting I'll have to redo again, but uh, I've done a makeup test. I've gotten the wig done. We've got some actual costume to make next. Got a lot, got a lot to do and not a lot of time. But uh, if you want to see those, then please subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I've been wanting to get more into studio photography lately and be able to like experiment and take my own photos in like the comfort of my own home. So when Ferris reached out and asked if I wanted some backdrops, I immediately jumped on it and they sent me a ton. These are all the backdrops they sent me. There's quite a few of them and they're kind of varying in degrees of like general usefulness to kind of whimsical and just things that I thought might be fun to use. They carry a really wide variety of backdrops for pretty much any occasion. As you can see, I got a few that are kind of more generic oil painting, traditional style backdrops drops as well as some that are a little bit more fun or like whimsical like the one with the stars and their backdrops are a soft fabric that can be steamed and washed thank you again to Lo Ferris for sending me all these backdrops hopefully I can show you guys some photos using them in the future thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing those cool backdrops I hope you enjoy seeing baby bat if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think and if you want to see the rest of my raven costume then please subscribe Baby Bat says subscribe. Okay, bye guys.